Okay, everyone, uh, for those of you watching America's Voice, hello. For those of you listening on our podcast feed, this is our instant analysis from an amazing rally here brought to you by Turning Point Action and Turning Point PAC. Uh, President Donald Trump gave one of the best speeches I've heard him give in some time. But the big news is that Bobby Kennedy Jr. has now officially endorsed Donald Trump. Let me say a word about Bobby Kennedy. I have such great respect for him. I've known Bobby for a little while. I followed him originally on his COVID skepticism, talking about why are we masking our kids. The truth about Dr. Anthony Fauci is objectively one of the best books out there. And Doc, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. has been an advocate for truth against these major power institutions, the FDA, the CDC, the Department of Justice. He's been a crusader. They tried to put Bobby Kennedy in a box for years. They try to put him out in the hinterlands. They try to make him seem as if he's irrelevant. And they call him all these terrible names. Bobby Kennedy first wanted to run as a Democrat. I want you to remember, Bobby Kennedy Jr. is the son of Bobby Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy was the brother of John F. K. Bobby Kennedy was the attorney general under JFK. Bobby Kennedy was shot, I believe it was Saran Saran, right? That, that killed him? Yeah, Saran in, in, in the back of a kitchen after JFK was shot. So Bobby Kennedy's father was murdered. Imagine me, Bobby Kennedy, and you remember the last time you saw your father, and then boom, he gets shot. Bobby Kennedy Jr. is very similar to President Trump because Bobby Kennedy was part of Camelot, the namesake of Bobby Kennedy, and he is a class traitor. Bobby Kennedy decided to leave the comfort of the high life of Massachusetts. What's the town of Massachusetts they call it? Not Martha's Vineyard. No, Kenny Bunkport's in Maine. L look it up. Uh, it's very important. They, they decided to leave the comfort in Massachusetts of the high life of the trust fund of Joseph P. Kennedy that was left for him and decide to advocate for truth in government and challenging corporate power. Bobby Kennedy has always been a Democrat. So last year, he decided to run for the presidency in the Democrat Party. Instead of welcoming a Kennedy into their ranks, what is it? Hyannisport, thank you. Instead of welcoming Bobby Kennedy into the race, the party that JFK largely invigorated after Republican control of Dwight D. Eisenhower, they decided to kick him out, not allow him on the debate stage. They decided to do everything they possibly could to try and tar and feather him. He realized, Bobby Kennedy, that he did not have a path forward in the Democrat primary. Despite all this, he said, I'm still going to run for the president as an independent candidate. Running for the presidency as an independent candidate, he was then met with the same sort of obstacles by Democrat secretaries of state, by Democrats that were in charge, Democrat attorneys general that were not allowing him to actually get on the ballot and not allowing him to run an independent campaign. We had Bobby Kennedy back on our show back in December. He was a gentleman. He was a really man of high character. We didn't agree on everything, but Bobby Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy and I agreed on challenging corporate power and ending the Ukraine war and giving a voice to the voiceless and rebuilding the American middle class. And I remember saying to him privately, I don't think that you're a Democrat. I think you're an old Democrat and you are now an American patriot where labels will not apply. Bobby Kennedy had a decision to make this last summer. The decision that he made, the, the decision that he made, can you, can you turn that down, Andrew? The decision that he made this last summer was that if I was going to be a spoiler candidate, I will not hand the presidency to, at the time, Joe Biden or Kamala Harris. We were in a period of time and in a situation where Kamala Harris got a little bit of a surge and Bobby Kennedy was left with a decision. And that decision that he made was about putting the country above party. The decision that Bobby Kennedy made was aligning with somebody that they have a lot of disagreements. President Trump and Bobby Kennedy don't agree on everything, but they agree on the big stuff. They agree that America is a great country. They agree on the fundamental core values that have made this the greatest country ever to exist in the history of the world. So therefore, Bobby Kennedy decided to endorse Donald Trump with a full endorsement today. It's an endorsement about the reclamation of citizen government. It's a endorsement that is about the working men and people of this country to end the Ukraine war, to also get healthy food again. I loved when Bobby Kennedy was talking about how our food supply has been poisoned, or how we're being contaminated by our corporations. His family is also come after him significantly. His fa Andrew has the tweet here I can read. His family has attacked him and he has withstood major opposition. Bobby Kennedy is a man of utmost integrity for in the first Kennedy to ever endorse a Republican. As I said in my remarks, this summer we've seen a, an indictment 
This summer, we saw a uh, conviction. This summer, we saw a president get shot. We saw a new candidate, two conventions, and a Kennedy endorsing Republican. Let me read this letter um, here. Bobby Kennedy, this was his um, his siblings and his family members. Kathleen Kennedy, Court, Courtney Kennedy, Kerry Kennedy, Chris Kennedy, Roy Kennedy. We want an America filled with hope and bound together by a shared vision of a brighter future, a future defined by individual freedom, economic promise, and national pride. We believe in Harrison Walls. Our brother Bobby's decision to endorse Trump today is a betrayal of the values that our father and our family hold most dear. It is sad ending to a sad story. Look, let me tell you right now that Bobby Kennedy stood up against his trust fund baby brothers and sisters and said, I care more about the country than I care about the 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 feelings of my siblings. He is a free thinker. He's a free thinker when it comes to vaccines, when it comes to pharmaceutical companies, when it comes to war. RFK Jr. laid out the reasons why the Harris Walls ticket must be stopped. To protect freedom of speech and put a stop to deep state censorship and lawfare. Bobby Kennedy was on a list. Did you know this? Bobby Kennedy was on a list of 12 people by the CDC and the FDA during COVID as being a misinformation spreader. End the pointless forever war in Ukraine. Bobby Kennedy said, if I endorse Donald Trump just over the single issue, it would be worth it. Joe Biden, previously, and Kamala Harris now, they want no end to the war in Ukraine. They're not trying to seek peace. They only care about warmongering because Putin is bad. Bring manufacturing back to America and halt deindustrialization. This is a core previously Democrat held value that if we do not make stuff in this country, if we do not protect the muscular class in this country, you end up not having a country. Protecting the dollar. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the entire Democrat Party, they've done everything they can to strengthen BRICS, and we've seen the massive de-dollarization of this country and restoring America's good health. I, Andrew will tell you, I could go on at length about this, about how we are being polluted, about how our, our kids are getting into poverty at younger ages, about how childhood obesity is a crisis. Do you know that half of all kids are obese in this country and only 3% of kids in Japan are obese? How is that possible? It's not because people aren't moving as much. It's because people are being poisoned by the major food companies and to eat healthy it requires a lot of money to go to whole foods go to sprouts to eat in a healthy way we are being actively poisoned by the big food companies he talked about cassie and callie means who had a great podcast with tucker carlson talking about how we as the american consumer every single day are seeing screwed up hormones higher estrogen rates declining testosterone rates our endocrinology is all screwed up because we are consuming contaminants from how we grow our food how we source our food this is a passion project bobby kennedy and i I'm happy to announce I hung out with Bobby Kennedy at quite some time backstage. We are going to be bringing Bobby Kennedy on tour in these states to talk about food safety in Scottsdale, talk about food safety in Georgia. And Alex Clark will love this, by the way, talking about ethical sourcing of food and why Donald Trump is the right candidate for that. And finally, Bobby Kennedy also mentioned in his speech that he agrees with President Trump on securing our southern border. What you saw here is not Republican or Democrat, conservative or liberal. It is citizen versus the oligarch. It is the people against the machine. Bobby Kennedy says this, in the nature and the name of saving democracy, the Democrat Party set itself to dismantling it. Lacking confidence that its candidate could win in a fair election at the voting booth, the DNC waged continual legal warfare against both President Trump and myself. They are, they have more in common than people would ever lead you to believe. RFK destroys the modern Democrat Party by saying, quote, the Democrat Party has become the party of war, censorship, corruption, big farmer, big pharma, big tech, and big money. Boy, let's go through those one at a time. War, the Ukraine war and the Israeli war. The Democrat Party is the party of the war manufacturers. Censorship. When the Democrat Party comes across ideas they don't like, they don't try to debate them. They don't try to disprove them. They try to shut you up. Corruption. Kamala Harris is being bought by donors right now. Donald Trump and RFK cannot be bought. Big Pharma. Look at how Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson have purchased the American healthcare system. Not to mention, not to mention that the Danish company that makes Ozembic is now trying to get Ozembic on the Medicare schedule that would be a $3 trillion boost to this pharmaceutical manufacturer and not getting to the actual core cause of obesity in this country. Big tech, all the biggest tech companies are behind Kamala Harris and her campaign. And finally, big money. The wealthiest people in this country, absent Elon Musk, mind you, 
are behind Kamala and behind her agenda and behind what she's trying to do to this country. What we see today is the courage of Bobby Kennedy. The art of the deal is on full display. President Trump willing to strike a deal with Bobby Kennedy. He could be a major asset to this campaign. Why? He is a lifelong Democrat. He is a card-carrying Democrat that has now embraced Donald Trump and the MAGA movement. And I also will say this. I think Bobby Kennedy will be encouraged by how well he's been treated by the rank and file, by how well he's been treated by those of us that follow him and appreciate him and understand him. I want to close with this, which is that as we go closer to this election, look at the list. We have Tulsi Gabbard, the former co-chair of the DNC, Bobby Kennedy, the namesake of, Bo of Robert uh, of, of Bobby Kennedy, who got shot. We have Elon Musk, former Democrat, world's richest man. We have an unbelievable David Sachs. We have a crazy, amazing roster of game changers, of change makers. And they have Adam Kinzinger. Wow. I'll take Elon Musk, Tulsi Gabbard, and Bobby Kennedy over Adam Kinzinger every day. And President Trump also announced that if elected in RFK's honor, he will establish an independent commission on assassinations to release all remaining documents on the Kennedy assassination. This is a way to also finally win over suburban women. Suburban women that know their kids are being contaminated, that know that kids are over obese, to give you an, that are obese, to give you some idea, in Arizona, Bobby Kennedy was pulling between five or six percent. This could translate between 40 to 60,000 guaranteed votes. 40 to 60,000 guaranteed votes for President Donald Trump. So I have to now go address all of our staff here. I just want to say that this is a triumph. This is an amazing victory. This is totally um, something that will change the state of the race. We are ascendant. We are growing. Whose convention was this week again? It's hard to remember. There was something that happened in Chicago, but what happened in Glendale is far more consequential, far more meaningful, far more encouraging for our movement than some circus in Chicago with a bunch of actors and actresses lying to the American people. This was real. And this is a Kennedy embracing the American agenda. God bless you guys and become a member today. Members.charliekirk.com. We'll be back with more on Monday.